All right, folks, good morning, April 26, 2023, and we are getting excited about the XRP Ledger with our good friend David Schwartz, the creator of the XRP Ledger and the CTO of Ripple. Now, we are watching the market pump right now. I'm going to show you guys. We're looking at Bitcoin at 29,800, Ethereum at 1952, and XRP at 47.9. And so we're watching this market move back up. Here's a look at the sticks. And we're at about 7 o'clock here, West Coast time, Wednesday, hump day, and a little pump, a little pump, a little action, a little excitement. This is our XRP chart, okay? Let's take a look at Bitcoin. You guys are going to see this thing back on up here. And 29,800 for your Bitcoin, currently in a little pump, a couple green candles. Have a little fun, huh? But folks, we are getting excited, not about the pump, but about the XRP ledger. Let's check it out. So David Schwartz put out this tweet. He says, I'm personally excited about this, or he says, I'm more personally excited about this feature than any other proposed XRP ledger feature in the past 10 years. That's, that's pretty remarkable. Now we're talking about the XRP LAMM, the automated market maker. That's the XLS 30D update. So for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, XLS 20 was the NFT update. XLS 30D is the automated market maker liquidity pool update. Okay. And there's a couple other, I think XLS 40D is like identity, like uh, something to do with privacy, I believe is the next amendment. And then we have another amendment that's being worked on right now, which is the hooks update. So more advanced smart contract capabilities for the XRP ledger. But David Schwartz says that he's more excited about this feature than any proposed XRP ledger feature in the past 10 years. Now, we love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. And this guy shared a little breakdown. Lachlan Todd. My latest piece covers the new XRPL AMM network that's now live on the DevNet. So right now they're trialing it out, testing it out, finding the bugs. Where can the hackers exploit it? And I like how the XRP Ledger community does this. They really run it through the ringer before they bring it in and bring it uh, public. So the key features of this, no MEV or front running, protocol native automated market maker, single-sided liquidity provision and continuous auctions with clob functionality uh don't worry if you have no idea what some of those are neither do i right i'm not a techie but let's try to break the break this down real quick no mev or front running through two features a federated consensus subsets of nodes unls agree on transactions rather than a single validator prioritizing based on gas fees Okay, so you can't pay more gas fees. You can't front run. Canon, canonical transaction transaction ordering. I probably butchered that word. I apologize, guys. Transactions are ordered in a deterministic, hard to predict manner. Now it's seven o'clock on the West Coast. I just finished my first cup of coffee, and they're throwing some big words, big technical words at me. Uh, but whatever that means, transactions are ordered in a deterministic, hard to predict manner, along with that federated consensus, both are going to stop front running. Good. Protocol native automated market maker. Automated market makers are at the blockchain level with liquidity shared across the chain. Anyone may create a new XRP ledger liquidity pool that the whole ecosystem may use. And those building on the XRP ledger can then integrate DEX interfaces without bootstrapping the liquidity. Now, this is so important, guys, <clears throat> because what we've seen is that the only liquidity pool that's really available right now use, utilizing the XRP ledger is the, the uh, you know network of on-demand liquidity that Ripple created with centralized exchanges. And that's not accessible for me or you, right? Uh, this has been you know kind of just uh, kept as a uh, closed off network for Ripple's on-demand liquidity partners and nobody else has been able to create their own liquidity pool. This is what is going to bring so much utility and so many people trying to get a yield, trying to get XRP so that they can stake, lend, offer it up for these liquidity pools and then generate a yield. Okay, so anyone is going to be able to create a liquidity pool. Me and you, Joe Blow, let's create a liquidity pool. 
If you want to create a liquidity pool with me, shoot me a message, comment down below. Let me know what corridor are we going to cover? My state to your state, my town to your town. Folks, I mean, you just, uh, just imagine when we all start creating our little liquidity pools along with the biggest banks and institutions creating their liquidity pools, uh, you can see where this is going to go rather quickly. Once we get this update, this is going to be amazing. Single-sided liquidity provision. Liquidity pools may deposit a single asset into a pool with half of its value automatically converted into the paired asset. Example, deposit $100 of XRP into a USDC XRP pool with 50% of the XRP being automatically converted to USDC to maintain a 50-50 split. That's interesting. I like that. I like that. That's interesting. Continuous auctions. Arbitragers may bid for 24 hour window slots with near zero trading fees bids are partially distributed amongst each automated automated market maker pool compensating liquidity pools and reducing impermanent loss so this is actually going to start to compensate liquidity pools okay the bids are going to be distributed amongst amongst each automated market maker pool okay so the people that are trying to arbitrage right they can put in their bids with near zero trading fees, but the bids are gonna be partially distributed amongst each automated market maker liquidity pool, compensating liquidity pools and reducing impermanent loss. Now what's this club functionality? XRP Ledger's new automated market maker now incorporates both central limit order book functionality as well as automated market maker pricing with the best available price being executed for any given transaction both designs come with trade-offs but the new automated market maker has the best of both okay so we are going to incorporate both central limit order books and so i don't know if that means uh centralized exchanges as well as the automated market maker pricing with the best available price being executed for any given transaction. So you know, through the smart order routing, the XRP Ledger DEX is gonna find you that best liquidity. Folks, this is this is truly incredible. We absolutely love to see it. And then I saw this tweet right here from Reza Bashash, who is the co-creator and technical lead at Sologenic. And he says this, we too are excited, Joel Katz. Sologenic has built a fully featured interface for the XLS30 amendment. Can't wait to see it live. And so this is what's happening, folks, is you got projects like Sologenic. They've already built out the NFT marketplace after uh, we got the XLS20 update for NFTs, right? They, they were one of the first marketplaces uh, for trading NFTs. And then um, now here they've already built out the interface for XLS30, right? So you can see the utilities already coming and we don't even have the amendment passed yet, but folks like over at Sologenic are already starting to build out that interface for us to be able to use this utility. And, and this is what we've been waiting for. Like David says, he's more excited about this feature than any other proposal or amendment in the last 10 years. And so this is gonna be definitely one to watch. I will keep you guys updated on this as we see this come live. And then like I said, if you guys wanna make a little liquidity pool with me, let me know in the comments down below. Shoot me a message, head on over to my website. After you smash this thumbs up, make sure that you've hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Let's go make a liquidity pool together. God bless you all.